YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the third episode of the series on my channel that was called Foothead's Choice, and I'm still not sure about a name for this series, so I'm just going to call it Foothead's Playable Hybrids from here on out, and I'm lo still looking for a new name, so please send in some submissions for a new name, but we start off this episode with a 15k fitness team sent in by PSG Abraham, and his squad starts off with Shatov, Lukaku, and Ibarbo as the front three. I really like this front three because both Shatov and Barbo both have four star skills. They both have over 87 pace, so they are very solid at the winger position and both have 82 dribbling. Lukaku is a beast up front with 82 pace, 80 shooting, 75 dribb 73 dribbling, and 82 physical. The two Sarmids are really solid. Wietzel is the more defensive of the two, but he has every stat above 70, and Barkley is a really good attacking center mid, making the passes. Garcia will be your holding defensive midfielder of this squad, and he has 63 pace, 68 dribbling, 67 shooting, 75 passing, 86 physical, and 80 defending. Gulam and Coleman are going to be your fullbacks for this squad. They're decent enough. They both have over 80 pace and over 76 defending and 77 physical, so they're decent. The centerbacks are something that I kind of don't really like about this squad. Albiol only has 61 pace, but 84 defending kind of makes up for it. And Bartra looks pretty solid with Ter Stegen in goal. It's a really solid team. I'm not 100% sure if it is under 15k, but that's what they said. So uh, if it is under 15k, it looks like a really solid team. The only concern about this squad would probably be Albiol. He doesn't look like the best center back, and also Garcia. And then maybe the finishing of the two wingers, only 74 and 71 shooting, but it looks like a really solid squad. The second squad that we are going to be looking at for today's episode is loading up right now, and that squad is going to be a no-deadling squad that I made, and it is going to be starting off with Marshall. He is a informed goalkeeper in this week's Team of the Week, so he will be one of the informed players in this week's Team of the Week. Anua, Belushi, and Spector are the center backs. Belushi and Spector are definitely the weak links of the team, but this team is so creative for 50k and just a no dead link squad. It looks really awesome in-game. Anua, everybody remembers him from FIFA 15. He was one of the most overpowered center backs in the game. And he still is almost as good, but playing in the championship, he gets a little bit not as much used. The fullbacks are DeAndre Yedlin and Leighton Baines. Baines is definitely the better in real life and more high rated in game, but Yedlin with his 93 pace and 74 physical, and he's very strong in game. Let's look at his in game strength right here. And as you can see right here, strength is 67. He feels a lot stronger in game. Also, 75 aggression helps him with 74 stamina. So he's really solid with 93 sprint speed and 86 agility. So that's really good for him. He's a really solid right back, and I would definitely recommend him for your BPL teams if you're looking for a silver outlet that is not Hector Bellerin. The midfield is where this team gets very high rated and very cheap as well. You got legends Steven Gerrard and Andrea Pirlo. They will be fantastic for your MLS teams. Along with Michael Bradley, who's one of the best players from America and also from the MLS, he has a very balanced card with all stats above 69. The two strikers are where this team really looks solid, and it is Camera the... Hero card for the Columbus crew. He scored two goals in their playoff game to send them through to the next round in the MLS playoffs. And also Giovanni Dos Santos, the striker from Mexico. He did transfer from La Liga to the LA Galaxy. He has a really solid card. And if it wasn't for his league, he would be used a whole lot more because 86 pace, 87 dribbling, and 81 shooting on a 79 rated card is absolutely fantastic. So this squad looks really good from the attacking part. The defense is definitely not the best with the two center backs, but to make it as creative as I want to, I really wanted to focus on creativity in this squad instead of playability, which I felt like I did. The next squad will be very play and it is on the screen right now loading and this was a squad I used to promote the team and this squad is very cool a no links wasted hybrid barely under 150k on PlayStation and about 135k on Xbox but we start off with the left wing is Felipe Anderson he's one of the best cheap left wingers in the game striker is going to be Perisic he has a really solid card over 81 on pace dribbling shooting and passing so that's really solid 
Eric Lamella is going to be the right wing, his informed card. He does have four-star skill moves and plays for my favorite team, Tottenham, and I definitely felt like he was one of the better players in the squad because the inform makes this card look really good with over 80 on those four categories I mentioned for Perisic, so his card looks very solid along with the four-star skill moves. Should be able to cut inside on that left foot and hit some finesse shots. You then, in the midfield, could change the center mid and the CDM and Dembele around in game and Felipe Melo. Melo's more of a defensive player, but still has 71 shooting and 74 passing, so he could definitely do a job at center mid, along with Dembele with 82 physical and 69 defending. Melo is probably better used at the central defensive midfielder, while Dembele is better used at the center mid, but they can both do a job at the position that they are, so if you're too lazy or just don't want to do the in-game changes, that is fine, but if you do, I think the squad will look even better than it already does. The other CDM is also very solid in Luis Gustavo. He has 84 defending and 82 physical and is one of the better CDMs on the game. Ricardo Rodriguez and Kyle Walker are the fullbacks in the squad. Once again, the left back is more of the higher overall player and the better in real life player in Ricardo Rodriguez. He's a very solid player and with it, those very balanced stats in game, he also has some very good uh, dribbling and agility for a fullback at 77 and 75. Also, his defending stats are great, and I'm trying to find his crossing, which is very good. Oh, 92 crossing right there on his passing. Absolutely unbelievable crossing, and his free kicks are very solid at 86, so he can also do that for you. And then Kyle Walker, a very overpowered fullback. He isn't as good as Rodriguez is in real life, even though he does play for my favorite team. No bias there. Walker just isn't as good as Rodriguez. Um, but Walker has definitely been one of the better right backs in the Barclays Premier League for the past couple seasons in FIFA. So he is in this squad and he makes it still very good. The two center backs are a pretty odd pairing in Diego Godin and Jimenez. Godin's 85 rated and is semi expensive with his 87 defending, as you can see right here if it ever loads. 15k for him, and his defending is very solid with 86 standing tackle and 89 sliding tackle, along with the 70 pace is just enough. And Jimenez is a little bit of a younger version of Godin. They both play on the same team and the same nationality, so it's very easy to tell where the comparisons came from. And Jimenez is very young and has lots of room to grow, and he already has 82 defending and better physical than Godin, so he's definitely well on his way to becoming almost as good as Godin, if not better. And then the goalkeeper is Muslera, the, he gets the Uruguayan link to both of the center backs, and has 82 rated, probably a bit overrated in my opinion, but he's been solid the last couple of FIFAs, so he fits in the squad nicely. This squad is seven nations, five leagues, and no links wasted, and I really like this front three with Lamella, Perisic, and Felipe Anderson. It just looks great for 150k. Only problems would be Melo and Dembele. You might want to switch them in game, and it doesn't really have a great midfielder, and also uh, Jimenez might be a little bit of a problem at center back, but this squad really does look solid. The final team for this episode is going to be the over 200k team. And this squad is filled with a ton of informs, including the first ever player to have over 80 on all their stats in FIFA 16. We start off with Jeremy Menez and Kevin Gamero as the two strikers. These two are kind of different in the fact that Jeremy Menez is 4-star skills and 86 pace, and Kevin Gamero has only 3-star skills and only 81 pace. Gamero is the better finisher out of the two with 83 shooting compared to only 77 for Menez, and 77 passing compared to 71 for Jeremy Menez, so better shooting and passing while Menez is your faster, better dribbler. Those two should complement each other well. Kind of a interesting choice of cams. I I went with Rodriguez from, I believe it is Deportivo. Yes, RC Deportivo. He only has two-star skills and three-star weak foot, but I think with his pace and also his shooting and dribbling ability, he could do a job at the cam spot. There also are a couple other options that you could go with in this team. You could go with Perez or also Fajer. They both look okay, but I felt like Rodriguez would give the squad a little bit extra flair. It probably might be better to go with Perez in-game, but I did decide to go with Rodriguez. Then on the other cam is going to be Nangolan. I mentioned before that this would have the first ever player to have all 80 plus stats in FIFA 16, and here he is right here with him getting his inform card for Roma as he is in this week's team of the week. So three team of the week players this episode, kind of special. And then he gets the perfect link to Pjanic, the Bosnian central defensive midfielder. 
has a very well-balanced card. Every stat over 70, along with his Bosnian teammate from RC Deportivo, it's going to be Medjunjijan, as he has probably the best silver central midfielder card on the game, with every stat above 70 and over 75 on physical, passing, shooting, and dribbling. He has one of the best all-around cards for a silver this year, and him and Pjanic form a great pairing in that central midfield. The defense is going to look like this. Inform Sergio Aurier at right back along with Ricardo Rodriguez at left back. Rodriguez, which was featured in the last squad, also appears in this one as he is one of the better left backs on the game. And also we have Naldo at the other center back with 88 defending and 73 pace. And he is one of the better center backs on this game. High medium work rates for both of the center backs and high work rates for all of the defenders would probably be my only concern in this squad, along with the passing of the right center mid. But with the medium low and medium medium work rates of the central defensive midfielders and also player instructions on this game, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. David Luiz is the other other center back and. He has another very solid card on FIFA. We all know he got a very controversial Team of the Year card last last year. And he does have another d very solid card and very overpowered card in this year's FIFA. I hope he doesn't get another Team of the Year card, but we'll wait and see on that. And Julio Cesar in goal, the Brazilian international, is our goalkeeper and links Naldo and David Luiz up. And he's from a pretty odd league in the Portuguese league, so he definitely will add to your leagues and nations in the squad. Just like the last squad, I believe it has seven nations and five leagues. And it's also no links wasted, so to me it's a really solid squad. And that will wrap it up for this episode of our... Foothead's Hybrids. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Foothead Hybrids and also other FIFA content.